Well, some poet said once, we all get the face in the end that we've earned. I want to show you some pictures. You might think they're sort of before and after pictures of the same person, but you're wrong. They are photos of identical twins whose lifestyles may have caused one to look older than the other. Dr. Derek Antel, a New York plastic surgeon, recently conducted a study on aging and found some surprising results. The study is published in the current issue of Elle magazine, and Dr. Antel joins us now. But we're also joined from Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, by twin sisters Gwen Sirota and Gay Block, and we're so glad you're all with us this morning. Dr. Antel, I've always heard that aging is mostly about your genes, but these are identical twins, same genes. Yes, exactly. So what did you find? Well, the interesting thing about this study and the way it started is people would always ask me, how long does a facelift last? And I would say that if you had an identical twin and you had the surgery and your sister or brother did not, you would forever look seven or eight years younger. So we decided to explore this. And in looking at twins and going to Twinsburg to the festival, uh, we found that some of them actually look different as they age. I want to take a look now and talk a little bit to Gay and Gwen. There, there is the parade of twins in Twinsburg. Gwen, if I can start with you, I want to point out, first of all, that as part of this, you gave facelifts to seven sets of twins, yes. including Gay and Gwen. And we'll talk about your surgery in just a little bit. But if I can just ask a few questions. Gwen, first, did you smoke? And I'm talking about marijuana as well. No, not at all. I never smoked. How about drinking? Oh, occasionally, but not uh, in the last several years. And how about heavy sun? No. Actually, from my 40s on, I stayed out of the sun. Okay. Gay, same questions. Smoking, including marijuana? Well, <clears throat> I have to confess it worldwide. I smoked marijuana for seven years. And how about drinking? I drank my share. And sun? Uh, more than my share. I was in the southeast in the mission field for a while and spent a lot of years on the California beaches. When the two of you looked at each other, did either one of you sense that one of you looked older or not? I thought she looked older. <laughs> and I thought she looked older. We always chided each other about that one. All right, I'm going to put up the pictures again so we can take a look at it. All right, Dr. Antel, show us the difference in what I guess you might call mm -hmm. the wear and tear of some of the lifestyle of Gay as opposed to Gwen. Well, the interesting thing about these photos is that they do almost look like a before and after. Gay is on the left, and if you look at her skin, she has the same wrinkle pattern, but the wrinkles are deeper, and there are more of them. Her skin around her eyelid is a little fuller. It's a little discolored compared to her sister's, which is a little cleaner and a little less of it. Also, let me draw your eye to the area around the mouth where there are many more vertical lines and wrinkles than on her twin sister. And lest we think this is just one set of twins, there's another set we have pictures to show. Yes. In this set, the major difference was not so much smoking, not so much sun, because they lived in the same Midwest area, but rather we felt it was stress-induced. They both had children. One of them was divorced, the one on this side, who has more lines in her forehead, she has deeper lines around the mouth. The jowl area, or some people call it a dewlap, is a little bit larger. And then we have a final set here. Well, this is the side view. And let me draw your eye to the neck. The neck is much cleaner on the twin on the left and as again, opposed to her sister. And again, she's the one who's had less stress. Yes, exactly. She has deeper lines. The skin is just coarser looking and a little bit excess under her neck in this area. Twins in red blouses do we have up here? Yes. Yes. Now, the interesting thing about these two very attractive twins is that the twin on the left smoked for 30 years, where her sister did not. So if you look at the lines, particularly around her eyes in the crow's feet area, there are many more of them. Look around the mouth. Look at the fold over here. And that's much from deeper. smoking, really alone. Well, what smoking does is it shrinks the capillaries, the little end blood vessels, so that the skin doesn't get its proper nourishment. All right, Gay and Gwen, I want to go back to you. So tell me about the plastic surgery. What did you think after you had it? It was a kick. <laughs> it was a wonderful experience. It really uh, changed our lives for the better. There's no two ways about it. Do you feel you look more or less alike now? Same. Yeah, which is, do you see, we never saw ourselves as looking particularly alike, which is strange, but we just see each other as individuals. You always thought it was strange that people confused you? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> well, again, we thank you so much. Has this changed, Gay, by the way, the way you're going to live? Well, I'm not going to sunbathe anymore. <laughs> yeah. And I'm certainly not going to smoke any more pot. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we're not asking you to make us promises on television here. But we appreciate so much you joining us. Thank, Thank you for you. coming in. It really is a fascinating study, Dr. Antel. Thank you. Thank you a lot. We have more of Good Morning America just ahead. Come back.